Well, he's been dubbed the steal of the draft. I'm alongside Dallas Turner, Vikings first round draft pick, 17th overall. It must have felt like your dreams came true that night. What were your feelings when you got that phone call in the green room? Uh, you know, when I seen uh, my phone ring and I seen Minnesota in the area code, you know, it was just, I just dropped my head and just, thunk, and just thank God, you know, just to be a part of this great organization. It is an organization that has a long-standing tradition of very talented pass rushers. It's, it's something that every guy that gets in the room takes very seriously. What are you excited about to be able to contribute to that legacy? Honestly, I'm just excited to be a part of a, the room that I'm in now, you know, with John Grenard, um, Andrew Van Ginkle, and just being a part of a very successful room, you know, it's just uh, a lot of knowledge that I could get, you know, and just me just being a sponge and just soaking everything in, you know, and just being, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the young dude in the room now, so, you know, I got to, Got to listen to the older, older people, you know, the big bros and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just willing to learn everything. So. Hey, your head coach, Nick Saban, said you were a quiet leader. Well, how would you describe your leadership skills? That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my teammates know. But uh, yeah. really, though, um, you know, uh, my leadership skills from last year, you know, it was more of um, I, would, I was more personal with my approach. You know, um, if, of course, if something needed to be said at the heat of the moment, I'll, I'll say something, of course. But, mm -hmm. you know, um, Really just, uh, you know, I was a more personable, you know, I'll come to you after practice, you know, and just uh, see how you're thinking and see, mm -hmm. let you know how I feel about it and stuff like that. And then we can work from that. But uh, honestly, though, he probably said that because uh, you won't really catch me doing a lot of yelling and stuff like that at people, you know, if, yeah. you know, yeah. So, yeah, you know, I'm very, try to be the best teammate possible. That's, that's awesome. It seems like a really good culture fit here. Yeah. What do you hope to add to the culture? I just hope to uh, add to the coach, you know, just bring what I bring, you know, as in, you know, just being a good person, being a football fanatic, you know, just being a, a great teammate in general, you know, and just uh, being able to be dependable and trustable, you know, uh, from the people in the building. Coach Saban also described you as a comp to Dante Hightower. Oh, man. Have you heard that before? Yeah, Sounds I heard like that a lot of times for sure. Really? You know, uh, being compared to an Alabama legend like Dante Hightower, you know, and a Super Bowl champion, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a blessing for sure, you know, and, Really, his versatility at the University of Alabama kind of uh, was a little, it was a little comparable to mine at first. But you know, uh, Dante is that man for sure. You know, it's, it's a. I talked to him, so you know. Did you really? Yeah. Have you talked to him since you've been drafted? No, not, not since I've been no, drafted. But, but during the season and stuff sure. like that, he would come to the games and stuff like that. You know, he'll always bring in the energy for sure. Always bring nice. in the energy. You know, always positive. You know, it's always. It's always a good time when I see him. You know, he always brings a smile on my face. You mentioned that buzzword versatility, and that's something that I think several analysts, as well as your coach Saban, said about you. Yeah. That you, he could put you in coverage one on one with tight ends. He, you could be an outside back. You could be an, a rusher. Uh, how would you say you thrive off of? Of that versatility I mean you know I'm just I'm just willing to learn and understand all aspects of the game of football so especially on the defensive side too mm -hmm. so but really um really just understanding you know uh, the philosophy of our defense that we ran to Alabama you know understanding you know where my help was at you know kind of expanded my football IQ and you know really just uh, helped my versatility um, in the game because I knew a lot more I knew what to do I knew what the people next to me was doing and stuff like that so you know and yeah, you know, it was, it was fun, too, so. Well, Coach O'Connell did brag a little about your football IQ when I talked to him a little while ago. That interview will be on Vikings.com shortly, All as right. well as this one, which we're really excited about. But one more thing before I let you go. Have you seen his reaction to Quasi telling him, we've got Dallas? Yep, yep, yep. What, yep, what yep, did yep. you think when you saw it the first time? I was like, man, yeah, he was excited for he sure. Was excited. You know, that was That looked real genuine. Yeah. Him, you know, we, we actually talked about it upstairs. Really? But, yeah, uh, last time I seen him when I was in his office. So, you know, yeah, it was, a, it was definitely fun. You know, I, I'm, a lot of people don't know this, but I was on the phone crying on the other end. That's why my head was down the whole time. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I was. I was tears but, of joy, yeah, it was, right? It was definitely tears of joy for sure. But, you know, uh, I had to hide it a little bit. But, That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Well, you look, you look good going across the stage. Thank you. We're really happy to have you in purple and gold. And uh, well, welcome to Minnesota. Thank you.